So thanks for, for having me and Andrea and the McLaren family. Um, but it's incredible to see so many um, people here, fans and, and wonderful people supporting uh, the city and of course myself uh, as well. So it's incredible, a very warm welcome on a cold morning. But it's, uh, yeah, it's incredible to see such a beautiful place. So thanks for having me. Um, especially when it has something to do with history and uh, such an incredible drive. And so it's um, something I respect a lot and something I have a, very, a, a lot of honor for is uh, people who have made Formula One and made racing what it is today. And, um, and that's included in, in this trophy, I think. So it's, uh, yeah, an honor for me to be, to be here and, uh, and also to receive a trophy this moment. Pretty much everything, everything on the car was changed and reviewed and, and updated. Um, especially the, the higher downforce package that we have, which is for 80-90% of the service. I would love to win. It's what I dream of and it's what I've wanted to do since I was a kid, is to win. So I'm, I've always been disappointed when I've missed any opportunity, like in Qatar or uh, any small opportunity which maybe would have led on to, to being a win. But uh, it happens, so I think that my opportunities will come in the, in the future. Um, so I, it doesn't affect uh, my way of thinking or, or how I go about every weekend in trying to achieve the best result. I always try to do the best I can, and that's all I can do at the end of the day. Would it be nice to get my first win? Of course. Um, but I still believe I have many years to, to come, and. Um, uh, to do it with, with McLaren is, is my goal, uh, and it will be very special, but also uh, when I win, I want to be able to win and go for a championship at the same time. Uh, I don't want to be, as much as I still would love to win, I don't want to just be lucky and win one race in a season, I would love to win multiple <laughs> races, so I'm, uh, I'm greedy and I, I want more than just one, but uh, yes, just little, little things I need to put in place. And uh, when I have a perfect weekend, then it's very possible. Thank you. Um, I don't think we'll change. I don't think what I what I do too much, and I still feel ready to fight against Max and to fight against the people I need to, to race against in order to achieve this goal. I've watched Formula One for many years. You know, since I was a kid, since 2007, 2007, I started to watch Formula One, and I started to watch McLaren. It was uh, Fernando and Lewis Hamilton racing against each other, and this is what. Uh, yeah, maybe you want to become a Formula 1 driver, so I always used to see, you know, just the two practice sessions on Friday, then qualifying in the race, and now things, some things have changed, which is uh, it's all for the fans, it's all for the, the show of Formula 1, and things always change over time. Um, but I, I, love, uh, I love Formula 1 how it is, you know, I, I'm, I just love to race. That is my my passion. I I'm I'm not there entirely for the for the show. I've never been the most natural around cameras and all of this. Um, that's never been something I have loved. I just love to race and to compete and to um, and to perform for the team that I'm racing for. So uh, that is my how I think about it every every day. But of course. Um, I would love that Formula One has is, is always been very much about uh, every, every team being on their own and it all being about who can design the best car and create the best car with, with some rules but not a lot of rules. And I think that's what's made Formula One always so, so special is who can create and, and design the best car and come up with the best ideas. Um, at the same time you have the best drivers who are in Formula One which I think is something that we have now too. So. Um, just giving flexibility for the car designers and the teams to design and be a bit more free. Maybe it's something that, uh, that I would love. Um, because there's a budget cap, there are so many rules now which limit what we can do. It would be nice maybe that we can free up things because a lot of the cars look the same. But also they handle very different things. So um, yeah, just to be a little bit more free from the one I think would be special to let the engineers and the designers um, do what they do best. Ciao uh, tutti! First of all, I want to say thank you very much for, for all having me. Um, the mayor and the president, all of the answer, it's a pleasure to be here. I was not expecting such a, a warm welcome from so many people, especially uh, a town which has gone through a lot of difficulties over the last couple of years. So 
Uh, a pleasure to be here, and, uh, and thank you for making it so enjoyable for me. Um, and for the trophy, uh, something even more special. I always respect a lot uh, people who have made change in racing, in the job and the motorsport that I love so much. Uh, to receive an award from someone who has been such an inspiration, who has uh, changed from what, changed motorsport, especially from the safety point of view, who uh, makes my life uh, much easier and uh, much safer, is something that's very incredible. So. To be honored this award along with uh, so many drivers who have also been uh, who have also received the award in the past is something very special. Uh, a lot of champions, one which I'm not yet, but I hope to be in, uh, in the future along with McLaren and, and Andrea. So um, thank you very much for having me, and uh, I hope to be back here again very soon, racing in Imola, which has been actually my, my I think my most successful circuit. So it was a shame to, to miss it this year, but I look forward to coming back once again.